Look what we got in the mail, guys. The new Fenty Beauty soft lip foundation. Fenty Beauty came out with a luminous foundation. You know that word luminous? It's like music to my ears. I also received some new products from Fenty as well. That some like new lip products, eyeliners, blushes. So yeah, we're gonna try and do a full face of beauty. I feel like I don't have any brow products from Fenty. Do you know what I need to stock up on is my hydrating pro filter. Cause she's finished. She's finished, don't worry guys. I'm, I'm keeping all my empties to do a video for you guys. Do you see this bold spot right there? That is killing, that breaks my heart. I don't I need to find a solution for this. Let's jump straight into the video, shall we? They kindly sent me foundation brush, although I don't have this one. Oh, this one's the 145 brush. That looks pretty cool. So the shade that I asked for in this foundation is shade 300. When I bought my first Fenty foundation, I got the shade 330 and I wore it for some time, but it wasn't the best shade because like I don't know, I just feel that over time, I don't know if it's because I stay indoors all the time, but my shade, I've just become paler for some reason. I think it's just lack of vitamin D, lack of sun, just being in the UK and indoors all the time. I wear a lot of SPF, so I feel like maybe that plays a role. But yeah, 330 worked for me at the time, and I felt like my skin tone kind of changed, which is normal, I feel like that happens with time. And then I went for 310, and 310 is like, I feel like so far my best match, but I just feel like Fenty foundations can be a little bit more on the yellow, side or orangey side whilst I'm more of a neutral olive. So I decided to try a new shade for this foundation and this one's 300 so I'm really hoping this will match me. I feel like I have some remnants of the primer left. <sighs> I'm so sad this is finished. Okay I'm gonna put a bit more. I'm gonna put my SPF. Here's a close-up of the foundation. I feel like she can be a really good match for me. I'm just going to do one pump. Oh, I think this is going to be a good match. Oh, wow. I'm so glad I went with this shade. <laughs> you know when you can just instantly tell like a foundation is good? Look at that. That just, first of all, this brush is like a pillow. I really want to do one side first. The original Pro Filter foundation does oxidize. I'm not sure if it's going to do the same thing for this one, but so far, this is beautifully matching my skin sorry i didn't even read the leaflet okay obviously it comes in 50 shades give credit where it's due i feel like they really set the bar when it comes to shade inclusivity and you know what i i don't reach out for my pro filter a lot because it's such a matte finish and i'm such a glowy skin girl so i feel like this is just like perfect for me it gives a natural luminosity without shine for all skin types it's hydrating medium coverage which i actually was going to confirm because it didn't really like cover my scarring that i have here it brightens and improves skin discoloration and dark spots it's long wear waterproof and resist sweat plus transfer resistant it's definitely giving that luminous kind of finish and oh my god this brush the teardrop whatever 145 brush it's like a cushion it's so nice here's a close-up it really evened out my complexion. Oh, it feels so nice. Kind of used a pump and a half on my whole face, I would say. I'm such a light to medium coverage girl as well, so I feel like I don't mind that it's not full full coverage. I don't really wear full full coverage anymore, except for if it's like a wedding or, you know, I want that extra glam. You can see like my scarring is showing through. Is it oxidizing? I don't know. A little bit, I feel like it's getting a bit warmer because now like my chest looks really pale. Then I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Wear Even Concealer. This one's in the shade 310W. Guys, it's so good. I use this like every day. I swear I buy this stuff. Not a lot of people liked it because I think it's not like full, full coverage, but it works perfectly for me. Got a really painful spot there. Do you see how that concealer just sits beautifully under my eyes? Fenty Beauty bronzer. Oh my God, this one is embarrassing. Wow, these are absolutely stunning. 
first of all the packaging is so cute look at that so i got three shades of the hot cheeks velour blush lighter oh my god just the sound of that i already know what shade i'm using but i got these three shades these are the three shades I got. They're so, so pretty. I think I'm going to go with the darkest shade. Actually, I think I'm going to go with the middle one. I'm going to go with the middle one. It just, it's just screaming at me. This one's in the shade Juicy Peach. I'm going to use the Fenty 120 brush. And here's a little close up for you guys. You can really see that beautiful shine. I love that. I love this blush. I feel like this camera, because I'm filming on a different camera, I'm filming on my DJI, it's like kind of washing me out. I hope that when I go see it on the computer, like it looks better. But um, I'm gonna set with some powder. I just feel like I'm so comfortable with my Laura Mercier, so I'm gonna use that. I've got these two really pretty bronzy highlight uh, eyeliners, and they're screaming at me. I don't know which one to use though. I guess I'm not bothering with eyeshadow today. Shall we just try that again? I knew you had some Fenty eyeshadow somewhere. I'm gonna use this taupey shade here. And I'm just gonna like brush that all over. A bit here. I don't know what to do with this eyeliner, but I think I'm just gonna do something simple. Okay, that is cute. I think we're gonna keep it like that. Let's not mess that up, okay? Okay, that is looking pretty good. I don't think I'm gonna touch it now. But that's really pretty. I love how like it's graphic liner, but it's subtle. And it's like shiny. Okay, then we're gonna curl these lashes. Then I'm gonna use my well-loved Fenty Hella Thick Mascara. That is one coat. That's one coat, guys. One coat. And with the second coat, you know me, I love a lot of mascara. What did it do? Makeup mist. This is a makeup refreshing spray. I like to use this to like make everything melt together. Obviously, you know, I love her. And the mist is so beautiful. Oh my God. And then I got three new gloss bomb oils. First of all, I bloody love the lip oil in Melon Tree. Hydrating and strengthening lip oil. It's so good. I'm gonna just try it all three and see which one I like This is what the shades look like. They're stunning. I'm kind of like drawn to this middle one. Okay, this one is in the shade Superfine Sugar Oh wow, can you see the sparkle in that? Goodness. She gets a 10 out of 10. Frosted Buns. This one's kind of like the medium shade this one has like a different doe foot applicator. Almost like a spatula. Oh, I love her. Frosted bun. This one gives like more warmth to my lips. Then we have the darkest one, which is copper cookie. Like a literal copper. Didn't think I would like this one, but it's actually really pretty. And it goes with the eye makeup so well. It's definitely on the darker side, but I don't mind. And maybe put sort of super fine sugar in the center. Okay guys, this is the finished look. I am literally obsessed with this whole face. The liner, let me come close. It's so subtle, but so pretty. Like it has this metallic glow to it. Obviously the mascara's bomb. The concealer I love, obviously you see me use it all the time. Blush really stood out to me. Like the blush is like the summer blush. It's so pretty. And then the foundation itself, because I'm such a light-based girly, I think nothing beats this eavesdrop skin tint for me, but this definitely comes as a strong second. Like, it sits beautifully on my skin. Like, I don't know if you can peep the skin. Like, it's just so, like, it's just made my skin look so healthy from within and the shade is really nice as well so i'm glad i went with 300 in the end and it blended easily and also like this brush is bomb there is nothing to complain about in this video even the lip oils the gloss bomb lip oils are so good now, i think this is it's very rare for me not to have one negative to say like i don't have anything bad to say so far it is currently 4 p.m i'm gonna wear this for a few hours till later today I can't guarantee like more than six hours because I've got work tomorrow, but I'll, I wanna just wear this for a bit and see how this looks. So yeah, see you guys in a bit. So it's just about to be 10 p.m. So yeah, almost six hours of wear, which I'm quite happy I held out this long. So I've been wanting to take my makeup off. Not that like it was uncomfortable. I just wanted to be comfy in bed, but actually I was quite productive. I honestly don't have anything bad to say.
for real for real like minimal smile lines my skin looks amazing the makeup the liner everything i don't have anything bad to say okay i love the foundation i don't know if it's the lip oil but like my lips feel really hydrated even though now there's nothing left on them i mean i've eaten and stuff but i really do like everything that i put on my face so yeah it held up pretty well my skin looks pretty good really hope you guys found this review helpful so yeah i'm gonna head out i'm gonna go to bed now make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye